Your promises are yes and amen in our lives, Lord. Your promises are yes and amen, Matulong Aro Namudimuaka. Osholakaho Safile Mudimu Ya Lukile. Lord, there is no God like you who can break every yoke, Matulong Arona Erisita Mudimuaka. Kikawe Narasola Mudimuaka Ya Lukile. Kikawe na mudimuwa ka tabo ya rona ilindi pilonza rona. Maemo asadumele empa o tabo ya rona. Mudimuwa ka ya lukile ngrikupi swa empa wena o tsepo ya tabo ya rona. Ribitu waka mabitu mudimuwa ka ya lukile ngarinya ame. Obane retsepile mudimu ya pila. Ndate waka hawabu pa waka matoho mudimuwa ka ya lukile Obane wena umupi wa mapilo arona. Realebo hamudimu wakaya lukilenda that you can break any form of chain in our lives, Lord. It has been long mudimu wakaya lukilenda jarile secretly. But Lord, we thank you that in the public you can set us free, O oh Lord. For I pray in the name of Jesus, your peace among your people mudimu wakaya lukilenda. Not just peace that sustain us for the day. But Lord, the eternal peace that you have given us through Christ Jesus. We thank you, Mudimuaka, Totali Tompo, Akedilibi so when I let us in Laka Geno, Obano and Omudimu, Wama Pilo Aro, Naria Lebu and Tatim, Cacres de Morena. Thank you, Jesus. Madia Twa, Madia. Twa ma tribe le metsi le saku kaona kaona kile sa. Hallelujah, you may be seated in the presence of God. Um, while you do to hold a soul in them, I didn't So, this is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Look at me. Hallelujah. I can't remember not So it's very important that you don't miss that one. You're not boasting when you say, Look at me. You are just trying to testify, Hori. Hallelujah. I don't want anyone to miss this, but I can assure you, I want to break the record in 15 minutes. Um, but I want to break the record in 15 minutes. Where's that mic? 
You took it at, at the back. Okay. I wonder. It means today is month end and you are in church. What are you doing in church come month end? Okay. Here it is. No, you don't come to church. It's month end. Um, we have money. So I suspect that those who are here, you are very poor. You are just like me. Are you poor? Okay. Are you rich? Yes. Yes, because our father is rich. Eh? So, um, we have those who will go and do our chores. Mike, how are you? Yeah, this is life, you know, life in Alentosa. Yeah, now you are right. So uh, it means, Luna, who are here today? You are those who have others to do their chores. So now, because you are rich, that's why you are here. Again? <laughs> you are here because there's someone doing chores. <laughs> <laughs> but we are here really to say, Lord, we thank you for what you did, Mapilong Arona. That uh, throughout this week we have experienced your grace and your mercy. So the pirates, fans are not in church, those who have money are not in church. <laughs> I acknowledge the, 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 the coronation of the Zulu king yesterday. It was good. We thank God for that. And to see that uh, ministers were surrounding him and praying for him. Unless I didn't see any form. Otherwise, have seen it. No, I have seen the wrong way. even seen the snake being laying hands upon him. He has seen the man of God. You need to, to understand it to be not a Christian or shining light. A Christian of, you mm. are a kingdom ambassador. And you need to impact beyond shining light. You don't know the power that is in your life. You don't know the power that is in your life. Up until you begin to pray for something that is not even next to you. And see change happening into that thing. So learn to focus your life in prayer. So that you see the results of the prayers that you do. Can I get an amen to that? Amen. Now we thank God and we pray for our matriculants and all who are writing exams. And I realize that the enemy has stolen something from the Department of Education or in the society. The focus is on matriculants or those who are doing grade 12. But in fact, you're supposed to pray harder for grade 11 and grade 11. 8 and 11. 8 and 11. For, for it's so critical for grade 11 in order to be at varsity, not grade 12. It's in grade 12. So learn to pray for grade 8 and 12 more for God to give them zeal to study and be disciplined students. And now I just want you to take note of this, that um, we are no longer going to relaunch 2027 of November. 
We miss something that on that day it is the Crown Gospel Awards in Deben. So all the people that you want to work with are, will be in the Crown Gospel Awards, those artists. Then we'll do that on the 2nd of January, 2023. Twenty-two of January. So prepare yourself. You have time. You have everything to get yourself ready. So the twenty-two January, we are not going to be able to do it. Now today it is our last day on our series, and um, as we end this and entering into the new series. So we don't just start a new series, we have our all night prayer coming. All night prayer which is on the 18th of November. So prepare yourself for that all night prayer. There will be more that you're going to really receive. So we receive. So our new series that is coming, it says, my hand is up. My hand is up. My hand is not in my pockets. My hand is up. Hallelujah. So don't miss that four week of that sermon. It's going to challenge you. If you, you are a coward, you will never attend another Sundays. But if you are obedient, you will come all four Sundays. I'm not threatening you, I promise you. That is going to cause you to either be uncomfortable or be obedient. So this morning, as we end all for God's glory, this morning we want to say no all is too high. No wall is too hard. I said, Lord, you, you want me to talk on this subject. Whereas I'm busy climbing such a high wall. And I was reminded that in your weaknesses, it's where I am. So this morning we thank God who is in eternity. Now, I want you to take back when Israel was moving in the desert. For 40 years they've been experiencing true physical provision in Mudim. They, they were receiving manna on daily basis. And it is at that point more It's at that point that you see the 40 mind years of God. receiving food for Mahala. And God says that you eat for that day only. And others say God is fair. But I say God is not fair. God is just. Now, I would imagine if for 40 years these guys were had to eat only a meal for that day only. So if your family is of three people, it means you have to treat according to four, three people. If you are six, you must eat according to six. But when manna came, came down for everyone. You know what I think? 
If you eat exceedingly, how is your fit at the gun? I'm not drinking full cream milk. Because it caused me sickness. I can take no lactose or low fat milk, then I'm okay. So if you can eat more than you're supposed to eat, how is your fit? You'll finish what will happen at the end. So God is able to provide and put it here. But he says, take note. So if you have uh, your family is of five, then you take six. You cannot cheat God. I can see what is happening. You later met in our calculator. What will happen and this and that and that and that. But now, here's the matter. When Israel stepped into Jordan, manna stopped. When they entered the land of Jordan, manna stopped. Because the land was fertile and rich. And therefore, there's no wall that is too high for you. Look, we can pray and do whatever we like, fast and do all the rest. But prayer cannot be an alternative for preparation. You cannot say you pray in order to avoid to prepare. But you pray because you want the presence of God to lead you in this path. And our faith is not even a... A thing. Our faith is what, or is not what? We cannot substitute Buholo Bamudim. That's number one. And you cannot use prayer to substitute hard work. If there are people who are religious and claiming they love the Lord, but who are lazy? But the babu toa. Ke baba ipitan bazalwan. Ke baba toa ipitan the saints. Simba Christ, baba ipitan bazalwan. Not Christians. There's so much laziness in those who claim they are born again Christians. And we want to substitute all these things that we're supposed to do with prayer. And even take our faith and put it as an excuse to do the work. Okay, Ricky Paki, John 2, verse 1. Joshua 2, verse 1, I mean to say. Joshua chapter 2, verse 1. Can we read it? Verse 1. Can you give us an answer today, please? And Joshua, the son of Nun, sent out of Shemet two men to spy secretly, saying, Go view the land, even Jericho. Balos. Joshua, Joshua, Mora Nun. Hasa alishidime, aroma banana baba bedi si piri unhuya, kwela aria nile kulele fatin lajeriko. And they went and came into a Helot's house named Rehab and lodged there. Ya baba ya meba kena tunya musadi wasi shola libi shola haki rahaba meba roba lateng. 
Go view the land and even Jericho. Go and look for that world. Paraphrase. Especially Jericho. So there's a land that is vast, that is available. But focus more on Jericho. And the, the Bible uh, uh, scholars will tell you how huge were the walls of Jericho. With very big and height very high. Why the place Jericho? If the walls of Jericho are like that, it means Kabuyona, it was the land of an attraction. It was a place where more visitors will go and view. You cannot go to Cape Town and don't go to Table Mountain. Even if you can see it from a distance, that will be very good. So, Jericho was a place of an attraction for all eyes to see. And now, here go, uh, uh, Joshua sent out two spies to go and go for that mission of intelligence. Joshua sent And this, the word of God says that in that house that they went in, it was, it was a place a where you get, my version keeps saying, Ibe Hamnati, a hallowed. A prostitute. This is where, and the Bible says, these two men spent a night there. Yeah, I realized this uh, yesterday morning that Majita uh, Musako so, Baro Betsy Busu da Banabeta. What were they doing at night? Kalisheva Kama Shonka Banabito, why do you know? Why are you shameful? You know, Mudim, you know, God, He will take you to places that. You never thought you can be at them. You know, she's, she, 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 she gave a, a very nice teaching. You are teaching us, lady. That the season that you cannot run away from. You come into a house of Rehab and Zaki Palab. And they spent a night, not a few minutes. So tell me, do you think they stopped her continuing with her business that she's known for? I don't think so. I think she continued with her business. And when she was done with it, she sat down and because she was surprised, these guys are not even asking for discount. What are they doing here? Give a lady. Now, when, when, when she started to hear who are they and where are they from, she found this being good news because she realized that now are not just ordinary clients. 
Look here, God often will use you with your past. Simple as you are, God wants to use you with your past. God is not using with your future. He is manifested in where you are stuck at. Ay, Rahab was stuck in a life of prostitution. And now the Lord came and to drive her out of that kind of life. There was nothing I am um, imagining. That was, I've never come across a prostitution that says, oh, this life is good. No. Everybody says, what can I do? I need money. I want to take my kids to the school. I must pay for this and this and this and this. And therefore, it means life is not good. And it means there is pain in the midst of doing that kind of a job. Yeah. So this was a high hall for Rahab. It was a high wall in his life, in her life. But when God looked at her in that space, God realized this is the place that I can use. And here's the good news. Rahab represents all of us, men and women. We cannot excuse ourselves from Rahab. All of us are implicated in Rahab's life. There's a form of wall that is standing before us. I want us to read uh, verse 11 and 12. And hear what happens here. And as soon as we had heard these things. Now listen, this is Rahab talking to these guys. And as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any neither there did there remain any more courage in our men because of you. For the Lord your God is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Hubani Jehovah Mudimo Aluna. Kimudimu Hudimu Hodimu Litasi Lefati. Now, therefore, I pray you swear unto, my, unto me by the Lord. Since I have showed you kindness, that you will also show kindness unto my father's house. And give me a true token. Ay. How this guy And when we come, we're gonna just destroy your place. They won't make me afraid that the soldiers were coming and they're going Because to we know the stories how, how Jericho was destroyed. And how stupid methods were used. Because in those kind of things, that God's power is manifested. Come on, going around seven days, and on the last day, do that seven times. Then on the, on the seventh part of it, shout! 
so that the walls should fall. I think the Lord was taking their ego out of them. Hey. Now this was the moment where God was revealing who he is. That I am the provision and the mighty warrior in Bethlehem. Because when you get, you go to chapter eight of this book, how chapter eight God now is demanding them to do something on their own. So now the Lord gave them and say. Go all over this place, go around. But then, before then, here is Rahab seeing something wonderful. She realized that, no, 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 today I have different clients here. And she traded the ladies' guys. And said that, Bona, because now your God is such an amazing God. Oh, anything else. He's the God above everything else. Because as soon as we have heard that, Lebaman Luna, you belong to who? The matter for, 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 for people to pay attention, it is when they know where do you belong. It is in your identity or who you are mm. that people will respect you in the secret places. People will respect you in the public. Even those who don't like you will dislike you in the secret places. As much they dislike you, but in the public they will like you. Because whatever they can do in the public, it gets exposed. Rahab, Rahab, the prostitute, the harlot. I have heard about you, God. He's God in heaven and on earth. And our husband. Let's one of the clients say, let's say, do you have a Even my clients. Ah, how fell a bona, they are so discouraged. How fell a bona, but your hand. But therefore, Impa. because I'm here now, to make a plan. Who has a plan? Please remember me. Remember me. And here's a wonderful thing in this. When, when you read uh, verse 18, as I'm closing, listen what they say. It's not in the slide, sorry. Behold, when we come into the land, thou shall bind this line of scarlet thread in the window. <laughs> and thou shalt bring thy father and thy mother and thy brethren and all thy father's household come <laughs> unto thee. Now listen to this. The, the same way you, you rescued us. Yeah, they're saying because now the king has already knew that there are spies in this house. So the same way you have taken us out. This is the same way that the Lord is gonna rescue you. <laughs> hey, hey, God makes a way where there is no way. Remember, all the entrances are closed. But here is this woman. Here is this woman. Here is this woman. Who normally takes out her clients through the door, but today she's got different clients. 
My God. Oh, but not these guys. They enter into a place of shame. So I can study for my God. And a mudimu are but to bale bone le ken kam nya ko fi. And that said that people have seen which door But you have I'm going to take you out in a different door. Impa ke tlo le ntsa ka nya ko o fa bani. The door that people have seen you getting into. I'm going to surprise them. They will always ask, where are those people? Where are those people? God wants to surprise you. He's going to surprise you. He's suppressing people looking at you. You are going to get through the door that you won't expect. Rahab said you can pass here. But you, Rahab, prepare your family. Oh, there is something that God wants to do in this place. Prepare your place for an escape route has been prepared. We have to go there first through the escape route. Hey, guys. Is it Elijah? Why is it Elijah if he was in his mind when he said it to this um, a, 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 a widow, um, how, what do you have? And this woman says, I have just a little oil and a little flour. And Elijah, no, it's a king. Born a payada, and I'll feed it to a payer. No, it's not a zozada. That's a total Elijah, abuse. It was a total abuse. According to the mind of people, for that lay to do that. And that's why Paul says, you know, when I'm in the spirit, it is the Lord that is speaking. But when I'm in my mind, it is me that's speaking. When I study what this prophet did to this woman, and according to the standard of this world, that's a serious abuse to a widow. How can you eat first, whereas it's so little? But let me show you something that is so critical for your life. It's not your beauty, your career, duration of prayer, duration of studying the word, but it is in the obedience. Because now obedience sometimes it makes you look like a fool. But it is in the obedience. You experience power. Yes, prayer, prayer, prayer it's, it's, it's critical. But now you need to realize something. Prayer, it is like manufacturing bullets. So you put your bullets here. But then if you don't have obedience, how are you going to use your, your bullets? You are not going to use them. But it is in the obedience. And then, 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 then they said, okay guys, um, Rehab, look, we'll, you, you'll come out from this. They say rehab. Uh, the Bible doesn't tell us sorry, what kind of a rope they use to come down. But here's a critical thing that you need to learn how Mudimu Abeas prophet of Pilumba how ka destiny. You want to realize mm. when God is putting and the that is prophecy why, of your that's destiny. Why, that's why that's why Balakama Tapose Green is a blue so John John. They know the principle of a symbol, Yamudim. 
That's why you are frogs, because they brought that. Now, oh, it, is, it was not a, it is them. They say, Bona, now you put a rope, a, not just a rope, but a red one. But over a tap, a red. Because today, Rahab, the wall is no longer too tall, too wall, too high for you. God is going to break it and put it down. But now, because we, 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 God wants people to know that it is Him, you will come out of this wall while it's still standing like this. He doesn't know what is happening about you, but you are going to pass through like that. Not for your benefit, sorry. But for God's glory. For God's glory. You come out. Like that. And this woman, she didn't know that one day she will be in the lineage of Jesus Christ. She didn't know that she will be in the lineage of David. What an honor. That, that, that a, a, a plan of God, a supernatural plan of God can be traced on a person that walked this earth and be called grandmother of Jesus Christ. Come on, guys. There's no honor like that. So allow God to take you out of the same world that you are standing at. Don't wait for the wall to be down first. Say yes, Lord, while the wall is standing. There's no longer a high wall for my life. I'm set free. Yeah. And I'm free indeed. Yeah. For I know whom I have believed. Yeah. His name is Jesus. Amen. This is not a joke, Basil. It's not a joke. God is in business <laughs> of turning those who are worthless to be something else. You know, look look at this. Look at this. We, 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 we don't focus or when we, we speak of Rahab, we don't start by saying Rahab, the great grandmother of Jesus. But, but, but we start by saying Rahab, the prostitute. We are like that because we are people. So, Bona, you will always get the reference of what happened. But it is not in your reference. It is not in your reference. But it is not in your reference. It is in the breakthrough. Do you know why there's reference? It is in order those who hear so they be able to speak like Rahab and say we have heard of your God. We have heard of your God and he's this kind of God and I want that God. As filthy as I am. But I know that there cannot be a wall that is too too high for me. We are above the all. Is the creator of all things. Let's bow our head. Thank you, Jesus. The same way that kind of a stronghold that is holding your life. Your 
God is going to take you out of it. Jehovah ke ra pela motsari wa tsa tsilaka jeno ke bana bana ba ha o ntate wa ka ya lokileng I don't know what types of walls that are standing before them but wena modimo ka ne dina go tsohle wa rata go itlotlisa ka maphelo a rona There cannot be a message where there is no mess. There cannot be a testimony without a test. There are so many things, Lord, that we, we wish people can not, when they look at us, remember us of what we went through or what we did. We wish Mudimu Batubakari Bita Kama Bito. Amunat a khatlisang tatwa ka lokile ba tagele wa ro o re rute tsa sinla ka jeno modimo wa so many many years have passed but today we still when we speak of Rahab we still remember she was a prostitute modimo wa but here's a nice thing about the modimo wa ka lokile ke hore ha o felle ka she was a prostitute but we thank you modimo wa ka hore Jesus Christ mo kana le mo police wa rona came because she was on the path mudimwaka therefore lord i pray that you take us off these high walls lord i'm not praying that you break them but i pray that you take us out of these high walls mudimwaka so that when we stand on the outside we'll be able to look when you destroy them down when you destroy down Everything mudimwaka e le fatsile na na ngwe le tswere ka maphelo a rona. Thank you Lord that we can be the witnesses of that. Ke tla le tlompho mtate di ke di tlibiso wena le le tsatsela ka jeno ka Christe Morena. Amen. Thank you. God bless you. Can you sit in a group of of six six 